Ooh. I feel like the body is body. I am absolutely shameless. I do feel guilt when, even when I'm on my cycle, I'm like, oh, you're not, you're not doing anything. Like, you're not active. Right now my hair looks like much shorter because it's freshly washed and I also tried this new um, twisting method over uh, the night last night. So it's definitely shorter than it normally is but like the past couple weeks y'all been seeing it just being big and like frizzy but kind of long. I actually was not wearing the extensions. My hair has just actually been growing. Yeah, my hair is kind of growing back a little bit. The extensions literally are just making my hair fuller which is nice for some looks but with me kind of doing low effort curls lately I haven't really been using the extensions. I've just been letting my hair grow out. I'm probably trying to stretch it today too and we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm sure yeah by the end of today it's going to be like much bigger and much more up to my taste because this is not up to my taste i look like a wet dog but even though my hair isn't giving isn't very cute right now one thing that is very cute right now what do y'all think about the outfit this is my little sunday get up you know on sundays when you do your clean and like the house just smells good and it feels nice yeah i had one of those days yesterday so whenever i have one of those days I like to look like I have one of those days. So, this portion of the video is actually sponsored by Parade because they sent this cute little number over. Oh, let me come over here so you can see it a little bit better. Full length. Favorite color? Green. If you guys do not know what Parade is, I don't know how you don't know what Parade is, but if you don't, I'm going to put you on today. I would say Parade is definitely known for like their overall comfort, but also they have a ton of body diverse options. Not only are you getting comfort, and not only are you going to be able to find something like no matter who you are, it's also going to be cute. Which I know I'm very big on cute. Speaking of, we can't just do the sleepwear. Let me show you the underwear. Here I also have the underwear that I chose. It's got the little ruffle. And this is the matching bralette to match. Like y'all, how extra and how cute is that? So all these pieces that I picked out are from their glow satin and their look satin collection. Because y'all know I'm all about the extra. I'm all about the cute. But I also don't mind comfort being thrown into that. I'm just really big on doing it big for myself. Like nobody has to be here honey. Like it's just me in this house and I'm gonna look cute every time. A lot of times when you wanna go for a look like this, you usually have to go for things like it's super expensive silk, but they just do a really good job at doing satin in a really nice luxe way. Y'all know when satin doesn't look good, okay? When it gives pillowcase, and baby, this is not giving pillowcase. Like this is giving, she got this in silk, but it's not. Y'all already know I'm not letting y'all leave here without a personal discount code and it's Black Friday. Like that's criminal. They're actually having their Black Friday sale this week. It started November 17th and it's going to be going to the 29th until supplies last. Of course, their site is having 30% off site-wide. 
If you use my code, you're going to be able to use all caps JORDAN40 and that's going to take you from 30% site-wide to 40% sidewalk okay pause it has just come to my attention that this sale has actually been increased to 50 percent off so just thought i'd let you guys know that really quickly this is their biggest sale of the year of course i personally recommend the collection that i chose from but you're your own person there's so much different stuff to choose from so i recommend you just check it out yourself and thank you parade for sponsoring this portion of the video all right y'all happy black friday shopping okay let's go ahead and decide what today's gym fit is giving to be honest, I feel like all my favorite gym clothes are dirty right now. <laughs> and yes, I do. I don't even know why I have all these gym clothes because I definitely be like putting the same like sets of three in rotation. Um, I don't even know what the weather is. Let me go figure that out first. Okay, so um, it is only like, I can't even remember what it just said. 63, 65 degrees, something like that which is not very cold. Love the combo of like little workout shorts and then a long sleeve like fitted top. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Ugh! Sorry, I'm trying to stretch my hair out right now. And that's why I have like this little top ponytail. So we're gonna go with this little chocolate set, just these little brown biker shorts and the matching brown crop. Um, I wanted to wear a little gray shorts with the black crop top, but um, I feel like my cycle is coming. I feel like she's on her way. And the last thing I want is to be trying to be doing a good morning in the gym. And that's how I find out in light gray shorts. So chocolate it is, okay? So we don't want any surprises. Okay, so it actually just occurred to me that I have book club today. So I put together a little look. I guess you could call it that. Literally, I just put my hair up in a bun and a hat, added like a little bit of something, something cause y'all know I like to look cute for the girls. I do it for the girls uh but anyways i added some silver earrings to match the silver necklace and i just have my workout outfit underneath because we still gonna hit the gym afterwards okay because we're we not missing the gym um but we are meeting at a coffee shop per usual hold on we're just gonna set this camera right here i'm using my other camera too because it's a gloomy day today and this camera does better when it's like darker because it captures light. So if you notice like a quality difference, my apologies, but it's either, it's either that or it's dark. So I don't know which one you want, but I'm gonna go with adding some light. Um, but I'm just making some coffee really quickly because even though we're going to a coffee shop, I tend to like to get like the smoothies and stuff. And this is gonna be like a 30 minute drive to get there. So I wanna have something warm and cozy to enjoy and also if I don't drink my coffee now, I'm setting myself up for a headache later. Like I can already kind of feel it in my neck a little bit. So I got to start on the coffee now regardless. Um, oh, it's cold up in here. <laughs> mm, mm. I love looks like this, like where it's like a little tomboyish, but then you make it a little girly. So like I'm low key, I'm low key kind of obsessed right now. Um, but I don't have on the whole outfit quite yet. Let's see. All right, so I'm just gonna throw this little Aristia track jacket on top. I don't know how many times I'm gonna wear this, okay? So at this point, we should just all know it's from Aristia. It's literally like the best wetsuit ever. I really need to get another color. It's, I just don't know what color to get because I really like this color. For shoes, we're gonna go with the Sambas per usual because I just feel like it would look good offset with a light gray and like a chocolate brown because it has like a little bit of that in the shoe. And then we're going to, we're keeping it very cash, very casual. We're just going to do the little Prada nylon bag. Um, oh, let me show y'all my book. Let me show y'all my book. Because I could show y'all when I get there, but I'm sure when I get there, me and the girls are going to be talking about what books we're reading. And so I, I like to be like attentive and not try to talk too much like to you guys because, you know, I'm with other people. Who ain't there for that <laughs> you know um but this is the book that i'm gonna be taking to book club today it's called sirs um i think i told you guys a while back that i read the song of achilles which is also by the same author madeline miller i thoroughly enjoy the song of achilles it's not what i expected at all i don't know what i thought i expected but it's one of those books you know where people are always recommending the book but they don't really say like what it's about but i get why they don't say what it's about because it's low-key like telling the story like it's kind of a spoiler if you actually describe what the song of achilles is about um 
but yeah because i love that one so much it's definitely one of my top reads of the year i decided i've got to read surfs so i actually started on it um yesterday <laughs> the biggest miss like come on Jordan come on how old are you okay also quickly before I go I need to not do some work but I need to just kind of submit uh, a couple of things y'all because with black friday going on and like the holidays coming up this is like the absolute busiest time of the year oh, let me move y'all because it's kind of dark right there but yeah anyways this is like the busiest time of the year if you work in the business of marketing um if you work in like content creation influencing and stuff like that because holiday shopping because i know me me personally i'm doing a lot of shopping um but that is a good thing for me though because sometimes when you get into the beginning of the year sorry <laughs> not me trying to uh, multitask i'm sure you guys have heard other content creators say like when you get into like that january type of era it really really slows down like work slows down because brands just got done shelling out so much money like in the holidays from like october december area so like it's kind of really chill until like spring is coming up so like right around this time you always end up having to work a lot so i do feel like i've just been like back to back to back to back like always working and stuff which i'm not complaining because obviously <laughs> i need to pay my bills <laughs> but um it's really exciting to just be working with these brands and like putting these on your portfolio and saying like i've accomplished this like i don't know that that really that really excites me um So I think that's kind of what gets me through doing all this work. I just like remind myself like, Jordan, this is such a blessing for you to even be able to do this job. And like, I know this is a job that technically, I don't want to say like anybody can do, but like literally if you wanted to go get a camera and start filming, like you could literally have this job. Like you don't have to go to school for it. You don't have to take a class for it. Like you can just show up, you know? Um, but at the same time, like I'm also aware, like I am just highly blessed highly favored to still like be able to do this and like make money off of it so even when i'm pushing out and i'm tired i'm going to sleep really late submitting like things reading over briefs for so long um i just remind myself of that pretty much all right so this is today's very very chill fit for a book club and then hit in the gym afterwards there's my gym bag for proof <laughs> all right i'll see y'all there I just need y'all to see what romanticizing your life looks like. Cause why? <laughs> why am I listening to instrumental music, sipping my like cozy hot coffee in the car while it's raining, just silent with the music just playing in the background? Like I feel like a movie character. <laughs> Look, moral of the story, you can romanticize your life for almost free, minus the gas and the ingredients to make this coffee. I am absolutely shameless. Y'all, so the first place we tried to go to was Pet. So we just found this other place like really close by. It's so freaking cute. Like, oh my gosh. Here go this crazy girl. Being crazy. <laughs> like I got too much stuff I'm trying to hold. You see I just stopped. I said, hold on. I hope I got everything. Oh, this is so cute. On the way up here, I felt. What are you? <laughs> it gives me like every time I'm in life like this, I'm like, where are the colors? <laughs> what? You know what I feel like? Have y'all ever seen Gilmore Girls? So I've heard of it a lot, but I didn't watch it. 
That's what I feel like around here. I feel like I'm in Twilight. You know what? You make your own reality, and I love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, literally, like the leaves like flowing on the ground and stuff. Like I cannot. Um, maybe we have to go through the front. Like this is gorgeous. I cannot. You are such an old lady. <laughs> Dang, we don't have to come back. It's a little show. <laughs> Thank ya. It started while I was out and about. Um, luckily, I had taken precautions already, so I was literally already prepared. Um, but as soon as it, yeah, I was like, no, no, because I get cramps, I get headaches, my neck gets stiff, I just overall feel not good. And then, y'all know, I said I was gonna go to the gym. In that state, because I wasn't in like a full precaution state, I was in, took some precaution state. At that point, you just want to go home and take a shower, <laughs> you know? So of course I didn't make it to the gym and I, was, I honestly was feeling really bad about it. And so I was sharing that with my fellow book clubbers because to be honest y'all, another thing to be transparent about today, we did not read a single page. We didn't read a single page. We normally, this has never happened before. We normally do um, talk at the beginning, but then we'll normally like kind of hunker down and like eat our little snack and drink our little drink. Today, y'all, I think we all just need a break because literally one of the girls said that she was like, honestly, I'm not even mad that we didn't read. I just needed this so badly because like we all work and stuff and I think we all work from home. So we just spend a lot of time in front of the computer and like alone and child, with that situation, you put us in a room with people you can talk to with common interests. It's like good luck. So yeah, today we just, we, we excused ourselves. We like, we were like, you know, sometimes you just need that, you know? Like, sometimes you just need to meet up for lunch with the girls. Cause honestly, I don't really do that. Like, I had dinner the other night with my friends, but like lunch on a Monday, like on a weekday, not the weekend at night. I don't ever do that. So honestly, it was much needed. We had such a good time, even though we did not read a centimeter of a book. But honestly it's not regretful but especially because i was sharing with them that i was supposed to go to the gym and it was because i had missed the gym yesterday and um last week was kind of a stressful week too so i only got to go like i think three times last week and my goal is to always go like five times a week um but they were like girl like you are on your cycle and they were basically sharing like when i'm on my cycle the gym is like my last priority. I'm just trying to like get through, you know? And I was like, you know what? That is like, that's literally like for some women, that's literally like being sick, like once a month. So I was like, you're right. Like I, I shouldn't be so hard on myself for that. Like I, I'm not in a state to be sitting here trying to push heavy weight anyway. If I did go, I'd probably be wasting my time because I go to the gym to like um, gain weight and stuff. And so if I went, it wouldn't even been a, be a beneficial workout. Um, but then, uh, Jalen was recommending that, you know, for future reference, like maybe I get like a yoga mat or like take a walk around the neighborhood 
on days where I want to be active, but you know, my period is kind of stopping me from that. And I just felt like that was such a good suggestion and like something that could make you feel better. Cause I don't know about y'all, like I, I do feel guilt when, even when I'm on my cycle, I'm like, oh, you're not, you're not doing anything. Like you're not active, like not doing anything work-wise. I, I still have to work. Um, but as far as, you know, getting out there and being active, so, I just thought I'd share that little tidbit that she shared because that's definitely something I'm going to be doing. I definitely am going to get a yoga mat. So, on those days, I can play some calm music. Maybe follow, like, a video on YouTube that has, like, some stretches for... I'm sure there's some type of menstrual thing <laughs> on YouTube. I mean, they got everything over here. Um, so, yeah, just thought I'd share that because I thought that was actually a really good suggestion. And, yeah, the girls made me feel better today. So, I was like, this is, this is why you need girls. Okay. Um... So yeah, thought I'd share that info just in case any of y'all are going through that. From one girl to another, you ain't gotta go through that. Just, just make it through the day and that's good enough. Um, but yeah, I actually had more work that I wanted to accomplish today than I did. And the reason why I couldn't, number one, the situation I just told y'all. Number two, I spent almost two hours in traffic today. There were like a couple of wrecks, it was raining, so traffic was horrid. It was terrible. Like I was like, oh my gosh, like I have stuff to do and I'm in I'm in traffic. But you know, again, that's something I expected moving to Atlanta. You know, it's something you're gonna deal with. Um, but also I wanted to share with you guys uh an HM haul. But today it was so dark, which you had you heard me complaining about that earlier. It was so dark, so like if I tried to show you guys like the pieces and try on and stuff, it just y'all would not have enjoyed it. So I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow. Um, because I'm actually supposed to be going home for Thanksgiving um, and my plan was to go home today but all of my plans got held up from like traffic from me not feeling well um, so I was just like you know what Jordan write down a list of the things you absolutely have to do and then do those things and so that's kind of just what I did like I still had some stuff that I needed to accomplish work was so I just did kind of when I say the bare minimum, it mean, it's not nothing. It's like what I could handle and absolutely what was due is what I handled today. Um, but I'm feeling a little better now. I actually surprisingly went the whole day without taking any pain meds. So, um, yeah, I don't know why I do that. I've seen other women do that too. Um, apparently, I don't know. We like to take it as a challenge. Like, let's see how long I can go without taking some ibuprofen. So, yeah, I don't know why I, I do that to myself every time. But... Luckily, today, I feel not so terrible um, without the ibuprofen. So now, what I'm getting ready to do, I'm getting ready to go ahead and pack uh, to, for, like, my home little trip, I guess you could say. And that way, I'm prepared to leave sooner tomorrow. Because my hope is to, like, do, again, the bare minimum of work when I go home. I kind of always have to work. But I'm hoping that I won't have to do so much work if I, like... If I do everything that I can like before I leave and that's what I've been working on up until this point so I'm gonna go ahead and pack my stuff I did not know I had things in here why is this heavy I'm one of those people I cannot be the only one who has like a million bags everywhere and like in all those million bags there's like something in those bags like all of my belongings so like like a lip gloss here a lip liner there a pack of tissue like not used like a pack <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that, but yeah, we're going to use my um, Katie Loxton little duffel uh, bag because I love this bag for traveling purposes. But I will say, I don't know if I've ever accomplished actually only using this bag for like staying somewhere. Maybe like one night, but like a few days, I've never accomplished it. But we're going to try today because I really don't feel like bringing any more than this. Like this should be enough. This is a very large, a very large duffel bag. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see if I can accomplish fitting everything in here. We're going to see.
bought some things. Hold on, this camera isn't really where I want it to be. Um, anyways, yeah. So, I've bought some things recently, and y'all are going to see some more things <laughs> coming in because obviously Black Friday. Um, it's actually some things I've already had on my list. Like, I keep notes in my phone of, like, investment pieces that I want to get. Uh, by investment pieces, I mean, like, they're kind of more on the pricey side, but they're things that I feel like have a lot of longevity. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I got from Black Friday. That's not what this is, by the way. This is more like purely kind of like basics that I can do a lot with because tell me why so I've been actually doing a lot of outings lately it's like more dressed up type vibes but like casual cute tell me why like I have a lot of clothes don't get me wrong but why why did y'all let me buy the things I was buying last year like some of the things are really cute I like some because I feel like you can um like make your outfit look a little more a little more snazzy uh, like make it stand out a little more and then some of them is ju are just like where is the longevity in this piece uh, and it's funny because last year I was really trying to focus on getting pieces that had more longevity and I think I was doing a better job last year doing that than I was the previous year but yet and still we quite didn't make it yet okay so I feel like this year or like more towards the end of the year I actually 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 <laughs> And getting more into pieces that I can actually do something with. But anyways, so I figured I'd show y'all the stuff. I was only going to show you guys the H&M stuff. But then a few things that I ordered from Zara came in today. So I figured I'd show y'all that too. But I'm going to do y'all one better than just showing y'all stuff today. I was actually planning to style the pieces from H&M just because they are so basic. I don't want to just show you a sweater and you'd be like, cool, Jordan, thanks for showing us a sweater. I've never seen a sweater before, you know? So I figured it would be cool and cute to style the things from H&M, uh, from which also helps me because for some reason when it's time for me to actually get ready, maybe I can't think of an outfit. I cannot. But when I do these little pre-planned things, like, you know when you get new stuff and you get excited to style it? That seems to be when I come up with all my best ideas. So, the plan is, we're going to see if I can style these things. Not the Zara pieces, just H&M. Um, that way, for future reference, when it's time for me to go somewhere, I will already know something to wear because I'm going to just pull something from these little videos that I do. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and we're actually going to start with the Zara stuff. And I'm going to keep it pretty brief on the H&M stuff since I'm, I'm going to put the outfits on. I'm not going to try on most of the Zara stuff, but I might style it with H&M. We'll see. Um, but first things first, I actually did just try this on. Literally, this got here like 30 minutes ago and I was like, this is cute. Okay, so this is from Zara y'all the skirt so when you get it if you decide to pick up this piece it feels like a little wide but actually when you put it on it's got like the perfect little drop waist look and don't get me wrong it's not it's not a low rise skirt because i know people some people don't like low rise it's just a regular um little mini skirt at first i was concerned that it was gonna be way too short but it's actually the perfect length the perfect length it can be this short because it actually has shorts underneath which I like how long they are. It's almost to the point where they're as long as like the hem of the skirt, which I think is really cute because if anybody gets curious while I'm out and about and they think they're going to look up my skirt, they're going to quickly find out that I have a pair of modest shorts attached and they will get nothing out of that. Um, but I also really like that the skirt is really weighty. I actually already had a pleated skirt that I uh, ended up getting rid of before I moved up here. And the reason I got rid of it is because it was very, I had it for years. It was very cheap feeling, very thin. This one actually has some weight to it, which I really like. It seems like, I don't know, like not that Zara has bad quality, but I wouldn't have expected it to be this thick. So yeah, it's really nice. If you're looking for a good go-to black skirt, I'm telling you, this is a perfect one for like to pair with like black boots and stuff uh, for fall and winter, which I actually probably will style this with one of the outfits. Um, sorry, my nose is itchy. I'm tr <laughs> I tried to avoid doing this, but it's really bothering me. <laughs> also trying not to take off my highlighter, so that's why I'm scratching it all weird. The Chronicles of Being a Girl. Anyways, um, next piece. So this is just a regular little t-shirt from Zara that I got. Another thing that I noticed I was missing in my closet. I have like some vintage tees 
but they they just don't look very crisp and like when i want to have like more of like a crisp clean cut outfit i just don't have any t-shirts that have something on them that aren't like either a little too you know or just too rugged so i just like this one because it's just it's like more preppy and i feel like i can do a lot with it and you guys know red has been very big as i have discussed with you guys in the, pre uh, the previous videos but it just says manhattan new york I think it's really cute. I actually have just recently started buying my size in shirts because at one point I was doing a lot of oversized, but now I'm trying to not look so throw it away. And I feel like getting my size shirt was obviously part of the hack to <laughs> being able to do that. Um, another thing that I noticed my closet was missing, I did not have a black crop top. And the way that I came to this conclusion was uh, I get on Pinterest all the time and I saw like a whole bunch of outfits that had like these little simple black crop tops, really outfits that you don't need Pinterest to come up with. But the way that that helped me was I realized, girl, you don't own a black, just regular crop top. Like I have like strappy black crop tops and like extra black crop tops, but just like plain basic black crop top, I did not have. Now the only thing is I do wish I could have found one that was more of like a cottony material because this is kind of like not quite that scuba material but I feel like it reminds me of like a skims top. So I was looking for something that had more of a cottony feel and didn't have like any shine to it so it has a little bit of that but I have a feeling that it's probably going to give me more of the look I'm going for when I actually put it on but this is just going to be cute for like those more laid back days where I need a black crop top. And I don't have one and I want to layer something on top, but I don't want the top to be so distracting. So that's when things like this come in handy. She's learning, okay? Jordan is learning. All right, that's everything I got from Zara. I told y'all I didn't get too much from there. I just wanted to show y'all since it did come in. Otherwise, I probably never would show it to y'all. Um, so let's start with H&M. So I did not have a lot of sweaters. I have some cardigans. I have like some crop sweaters, but I don't have like actual like warm casual even like dressy up type sweaters so i went ahead and decided to invest now i think the only thing about this one yeah this is the sweater the only thing about this one is i could not find my size to save my life like they didn't have an extra small they didn't have a small so i'm really gambling right now because this is a medium um but i figured since it's an oversized um it looks like it's supposed to be oversized i figured maybe i would be okay uh, for how I like to style things but I think it's really cute it's supposed to be like off the shoulder so my only concern is if it's too big it's really gonna be off the shoulder it's gonna be below the titty we ain't got time for that um so yeah we're gonna try it out and see how it goes but I do like the texture of it I do like the weight and I love 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 the color I gray is just so sophisticated and I just love outfits with gray. I love black, but I'm a person, I love to see like details in the outfit. I just feel like it's harder when you th buy things like black, which, you know, I'm I'm contradicting myself right now because I'm about to show y'all a black top, but you, gotta, you still gotta do black because it's kind of an essential and it makes you look just, I don't know, black is so mysterious. Like I do love black, but I love like the contrast of a lighter piece with like dark stuff, so. Still got to do that too. So this one right here is just a very basic black sweater. Um, so this one's off the shoulder too. I'm going to have to try it on and see how I like it to, uh, to be honest because right now I'm not really sure. But what I do like about this one is it is more fitted even though it's like a boxy um, cut steel. It's still like a more cropped. Um, it's just going to be a little more like you can make a hot girl outfit out of this. Like. You, I don't know if you guys get on TikTok like that, but I this comes across my For You page. I think they call it like the office hot girl or the office siren or something like that. Anyways, I feel like this top really reminds me of that type of like aesthetic or look. It's really cute. If you don't know what I'm talking about, highly recommend. But like imagine like putting on some trousers with this top and pops of like cherry red pumps and a cherry red bag. I have neither of those, but I just can imagine it would be really cute. Like even with your hair just slicked back like... Ooh, I do have cherry red lip colors though, so I can, I can still do the look a little bit. I'm actually so excited to get up and style these because tell me why I just started listening to the Drake album because uh, I think my sister told me it wasn't good, but then somebody else told me it was good and then I've been hearing more people say it was good, so I'm like, let me listen to the Drake album. It has been a vibe, so like, I'm really excited to get in my closet and just play music and put stuff together for y'all. Um, but I got some trousers. Let's see.
Okay, so this is what the trousers look like. I actually already have a pair of gray chow. Was I gonna say trousers? Y'all know I be messing up my words sometimes. I like. I'm not gonna get into why, but I just know why I do it. But anyways, um, so I have a pair of gray trousers already, actually, but they are pinstripe and they're also thrifted, so they're not like a perfect fit. Um, and also I wanted some trousers that kind of had more of like that overflow look, like they're baggy and like low key like a little oversized but still like very clean cut with the little pleats and stuff so i thought this would be cute and i love that it has belt loops and i don't the back pockets don't work but i still like the look of back pockets because i don't know when you don't have that look it looks cheap to me um so yeah these look cute so far i haven't tried them on but excited to put these on it's definitely giving office siren i'm going to no one's office but that's just kind of, kind of how I want to dress. Not all the time, but just sometimes. Okay, so this item right here, I actually have already worn it. I could not wait. Okay, I've been wanting one of these uh, dresses, and I'm very glad that I got this dress. I actually ended up getting another color, not from H&M, um, but another color after I wore this because I was like, I really enjoyed wearing this dress. But I just feel like it was a really easy way to stay cozy, but also really cute and just... Mm, like i've been getting more into dresses i really never used to buy dresses like that so i feel like i'm kind of starting from almost scratch when it comes to dresses besides like dresses that like brands have sent me and stuff outside of that i really never actually bought dresses so i'm building up my little dress collection now i really like this one because of the color it's like that, that light taupey color it also goes back to like when i said i i like to see the details in it i probably wouldn't get this in black um, but I think it would look nice on a lot of people with black. Like, if you're really shapely, I think it'd be really cute on you. Me, however, it's going to make me look like a bobby pin. So, I went for the light colored one. I think they might have a darker colored one, though, if that's what you're going for. And then it has, like, slits on the side. But it was just so flattering, y'all. Like, it wasn't too tight. But, like, I could still see, like, the shape and everything. It was just really feminine and pretty. But, um, without further ado, I'm actually about to go in my, to my closet, see what I can put together. And we're going to see what kind of looks we can make. Because I know y'all have said to me, y'all want to see fashion videos. The only thing about showing y'all fashion videos is they take me a lot of work and a lot of time with uh, prepping for them, like, styling them, um, talk, doing the talk through, then inserting the try on and stuff and then having to edit it and then honestly they just don't do as good as my regular weekly vlogs so I figured this was like a good compromise to still give you guys um, fashion but also make it more worthwhile for me and just put them in my vlogs so let me know how y'all feel about that if that affects you any differently I also just feel like doing it this way allows me to be more candid with like the styling and the try-ons and stuff instead of it being so like stiff and like not that I I don't think I make stiff videos per se but you know what I mean it's just not as fun and just like casual you know but yeah I'm getting ready to go see what we can put together and I'll be back Okay, so I have the first fit, but I'm a little torn with shoes. Which shoe? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like it depends on the situation. But also, really, you could wear, like, both shoes for, like, any of the same situations. Besides, like, unless it's a little more walking and, like, sporty, you obviously cannot wear these. But I like both. I'm going to stick up one leg each. And maybe you'll be able to... I mean, obviously, you can't tell me now. But it doesn't matter. I'm not going to wear it yet, so this will help for future references. <laughs> So, I have my uh, tabbies on my left foot. These are the tabbies. So, I'm going to stick up this leg. What do we think about the tabbies? Like, I kind of like that pop of white and, like, the interest of, like, the tabby toes with the outfit. Um, but then it's also, like, ah, uh, like, the legs are showing. So, it's kind of cute to have, like, the really long lace uh, gladiator sandal. And low-key, I could take these sandals and wrap them all the way up here if I want. And that could be really cute, too. So I don't know, and then I added it with my little metallic um, Chanel bag. I also think this outfit would be really cute with like a diamond choker or something like that. But yeah, this is what the bag looks like. Oh, I don't know y'all, they both look so good from the bag. Dang, dang, I'm in a little dilemma right now. I'm acting like I'm seriously going to wear it. But I think this is cute, what do y'all think? I'm actually, so I think I'm leaning one way See if y'all can guess what way I'm leaning. I'm gonna go put the way that I'm leaning on. If I if I uh choose the wrong one and I did not choose the 
the more bad option. Like bad as in, bad as in good, not bad as in bad. <laughs> then let me know, okay? But I'm gonna I'm do what my heart's telling me right now. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't go with my first impression. <laughs> so I could have chose wrong, but these are the shoes that I went ahead and uh, decided to go with. What do we think about this? So one thing I did change about this um, before I had the sweater like with a little bit of a front tuck, but since I decided to go with the really lacy shoes, I was like, mm, I kind of want to make it like a little more, it's not more modest, honestly, taking it from here to here, but I like the look of just having a little bit of the skirt like peek out, you know? Um, but I feel like it's so cute. Now the only thing, I tied them a little funny because originally I had tied them lower and then I just had to raise them above my knee. So I definitely could tie them better, but I feel like this is so cute. But I honestly feel like, I don't know, honestly, like the tabbies look just as good, to be honest. So it really just depends where I would go in this outfit. Uh, that would determine uh, which shoe I would wear because I like both looks. And I could easily, like let's say I decide to go with the tabbies with this outfit, I could easily recreate the same outfit and just use a different top and have the skirt with the shoe look, you know? But I do like the idea of having like this really bulky, like shapeless sweater on with these very like kind of questionable wrap around the leg gladiator sandals. <laughs> like I feel like that's actually so cute. Um, but this is what the sport looks like. Like as you can see, it makes the skirt like much more modest than like you've been in over and seeing like straight cheeks. Like the shorts are very, very convenient. Like I cannot say enough about the skirt. I was on the edge about getting it at first, but baby, she is cute. She is too cute. What do y'all think about this outfit? Of course. When I'm done with this, let me know what your favorite is, but I like this. This is actually really cute. Let me give you like a little closer look. Ah! Okay, so even though this sweater uh, was technically not my size, I actually do not mind how it fit. This is exactly how I was hoping it would fit. So I'm really glad that it turned out like this. Ah! Okay, this is so fun. All right, so this one's a little easier to put on, so I'm just kind of putting it on camera. I said I wasn't gonna style the Zara stuff, but I'm, I'm accidentally doing it anyway because I'm actually putting it on with the H&M stuff. So, um, yeah, as you can see, I have the Zara tee on. We're going to put it on with these little... These are kind of more of a crimson than a red. But I just love the lows and I think they look really good with the trousers. So we're going to put them on anyway because you ain't got to wear the same exact red just because that's the red that's going on with the rest of the outfit. Like, it's so subtle, you don't even really notice it. So... I'm not going out just like this. I feel like a little boy. Um, not that this is going to make it less little boyish, but it just gives it a little more. Um, Y'all know I've been loving the little cardigan or sweater over the shoulders look. So I feel like that's really cute. I should button it up before I do that so we can make it easier. But um, yeah, you can do it like this. Oh, I don't have a bag on. Hold on. <laughs> is it really an outfit if you don't wear a bag? No, not really. So we're gonna go with my city bag, even though she's not stuffed right now, so she's looking mad flat. <laughs> I'm gonna stuff this in here. I hate seeing a flat bag. Not that that made much of a difference, but it did something for me. All right, um, but yeah, you can tie it over like this. And then I recommend actually buttoning the cardigan up so you don't get them, these little wings on the side, but I don't feel like doing that right now. Um, the only thing, my outfit is a little wrinkly right now, obviously, because I just got these clothes and I'm not about to go steam them for a casual try on, but yeah, I think this is cute. The only thing about the trousers, I actually do wish they, flo they like, um, flowed out a little more than they do, like, right here, because, like, I don't know, I wanted them to be a little more, like, balloon-like. Maybe I'm asking to be thicker. I don't know. <laughs> it could be that, too. I don't know, but I feel like this is cute, like, just a... Little casual outfit with the sneakers, pops of red, very big for fall. Yeah, just a little casual look, real quick. Let me show you up close so you can see the details. Ugh, not me falling in love with red. I'm embarrassed. Hold on, let me tuck the back of this a little bit. I am embarrassed with how much I'm liking red now after I've talked so much junk. Oh my gosh, but. She's giving, she's cute, and I love this shirt. I'm gonna be able to do a lot with this. All right, next one. Okay, I am obsessed with this one. Obsessed. Like, it's so simple, but so significant. <laughs> like, 
this eat like sometimes you just have to realize the power of like a really simple dress and it just i feel like it allows you to show off everything else like your natural assets i don't know but this is so cute to me like it just mm. like this is why we love fall first of all i love the sleeves on it like as you can see the sleeves are very like long and dramatic which i really like it just feels very cozy so when it's cold you can just kind of leave it like hanging like this but i mean of course like you can still do things with it i just added my um louis vuitton monogram obviously to match the brown really slouchy boots i think i have linked these boots in the past but the only thing i'm not sure if they are available anymore i want to say i got them from I want to say they're shoots just in case I can't find them if you guys want to keep a lookout for them um but yeah I love this like this just little taupey look it's so cute obviously you'd have to wear some different underwear because I'm not wearing the right uh type of underwear right now because you can see everything but like the little slit that allows you to see the boot really well the off the shoulder moment like I have discovered I really love an off the shoulder moment. It's so like pretty to see this part like on the female body is amazing. Like do you see the clavicles? The clavicles are giving and if you work on your uh, traps, look ladies, this is why we do upper body day. That's the only reason we do upper body day. We do upper body day for a good back and for some good traps when we're showing off the shoulders. That is literally it because I could care less about having biceps. <laughs> I mean, that's just me personally though, but I think this one's really cute. Like I said, it doesn't hug too much. Very comfortable. Oh, if you don't like this color, please. Like, you need to get this dress in the other colors they have. Some color. Everybody needs this dress because this is really cute for when you just don't feel like actually putting together a legitimate, thoughtful outfit. Like, oh, okay. Okay, I decided to keep this one kind of more on the simple side, but I'm not mad at it what do we think about this one so like this is an all black look hopefully y'all can see the shoes because the shoes are what really if you can't i'm gonna lift them up metallic i doubt i'm gonna be able to find these so if you want to go and hunt yourself they are by jessica simpson but um so cute like these shoes are everything and they're very 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 comfortable i will try to find them don't know if i will but <laughs> just letting you know just in case i need a little help uh with the hunting but I love this. I love the simplicity of an all black outfit. But what I really like about this is pairing it with like the leathers, which I think these are faux leather, but I like them because they're really high quality faux leather. So they still, they don't have like that cheapy leather look. Like I hate that look. I'm guilty of owning it, but <laughs> I don't love it. So I like that they still look really high quality. Um, hold on. I actually kind of like the bag staying up like this. If you're wondering why I look off to the side, I'm not like cross-eyed or anything or avoiding eye contact there's a mirror right here if you didn't pick up on that so i feel like sometimes i talk to y'all on the camera literally and it's sitting next to the mirror so i'll be looking this way and y'all probably be like we right here but yeah i'm just i'm looking at it as i describe just thought i'd point that out but oh these pants look so good with this outfit i already own these pants by the way like i've had these for a long time um but also if you do want a little bit of like a breakup in the outfit you definitely could like wear a bra honestly it will be a little difficult because you'd have to wear a strapless one and i don't even think i have a strapless bra to be honest because i just feel like they'd be slipping down um but yeah if you tucked it then you could show like a little bit right here and have like a little break in it or maybe do like a side tuck like this like that honestly that's probably how i would do it if i was to tuck it like tuck the side of it to make it like asymmetrical but um yeah she's super cute she also does the thing where like the sleeves are kind of longer which again i really like that aspect as well oh you guys it's so cute you know what this top reminds me of it really reminds me of like um one of regina george's last scenes where she's got that little black off the shoulder top and she's like what did she say she said it to katie before she got hit by that butt you're a something something jungle freak who's a less hot version of me that's what i think of when i see this shirt like i feel like it makes me want to walk like regina george <laughs> like this but if you know you know if you don't know please watch mean girls um but yeah i think this is really cute really simple but again significant like i'm really just going more into like the details and quality nowadays than trying to wear outfits that are just all around like wow you know 
So I kind of like outfits more now where you kind of have to pay attention to like see like, oh, like this outfit kind of hit, you know? So like what I'm saying is, especially with how my hair is and where I wear it curly, when I walk in a room, it's already like a lot. So I used to wear like really crazy outfits and have the big hair, which there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just calming down a little bit. I'm a little older now <laughs> and I just don't want... Like, I was never matching the vibe of whatever was going on. I'm not trying to ever match the vibe, but I'm just trying to be a little more calm. Does that make sense? Um, hopefully y'all understand, <laughs> but yeah, I love these shoes. I, I really cannot, like, ooh. I feel like the body is bodying in these little leather pants, if I don't fall down first. All right. Okay, so it is 6 p.m. right now. I know it looks super dark outside. It looks way later. But I wanted to wait for, like, the 5 o'clock traffic to go by because, mm, -mm. Like, I uh, was not about to deal with that, especially with tomorrow being Thanksgiving. So I was like, I'm going to just sit on the couch and eat some food and just wait. But I have everything packed up. I just haven't put it in my car yet. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I did not manage to only bring this duffel i actually am bringing this tote bag as well um just because like my laptop is in there like filming equipment for like some filming i have to do uh, my makeup bag and a few other things um but yeah i could not fit everything inside this bag but i tried and then i have a couple of packages for um some brand collabs that i need to film while i'm there yes i am still working <laughs> i'm gonna work a little bit um but it's not super hard stuff um like a youtube well i do have to edit a little bit tonight actually um this video but um the stuff that i'm doing with this i really only have to film it not really edit it so that's not too bad and then this right here this is just all my summer clothes um the one perk or not the one perk why am i saying it like that one of the perks of being back home like or close to home my parents live nearby and so I can use their attic as storage because obviously I don't have my own attic here like I have a decent amount of storage but I don't really want to put everything in my closet because it's really for my clothes and stuff and so with things like summer clothes obviously I'm not using it so I've already informed them that their attic will be my storage <laughs> okay um so yeah that's why I have that little container I'm gonna take home with me um but yeah I'm about to pack my car up and hit the road and yeah, I should be there within before two hours, so. But I figured I would go ahead and close the vlog out now. I don't know how long this is. I know you guys do like longer vlogs, but tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Uh, some of my family is actually at the house right now. So I'm going to stop it now because if I don't, <laughs> I'm going to be editing forever and stuff like that. So yeah, just want to spend a little time with the fam. I hope that you guys are getting the chance to do the same. I feel like the content has been like, I've been really busy, so I've been trying my best to still upload on here. And it has been actually very difficult, and it might be apparent that it's been a little um, difficult to get over here and vlog. So we are going to be, we should be back to our normal <laughs> scheduled content by next week. Um, just having it more organized and me not running around like with my head cut off But yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, of course, don't forget to like and if you're not subscribed already Don't forget to do that. But I will see you guys next week Um, aka tomorrow because that's when i'm gonna start the next vlog, but love you so so much mm.